Welcome back, mercenaries! We are going to be doing a story mission today. That's right. Story missions are uh, pretty close together, and that's because the difficulty of missions we're currently doing, they're just not getting me the mechs I want. It's mainly medium mechs. We don't need that. I got a bunch of mechs that are currently being tuned up right now. Uh, basically, what we do is I go to components, and then I sort by all of these, and I look for like where there's a plus, like a better weapon, and I just plug them in. I do that every now and then. Uh, if it's a really good weapon, I'll stick it in uh, much, uh, much earlier, but... All of these mechs have some extra stuff plugged into them. We do have another mech that's joining us, the Jaeger Mech S, which is the more common of the two Jaeger mechs. It's still not the original Jaeger mech. I don't believe the original is in this version of Battletech, but uh, you could actually see one of its guns are missing. One of its guns is currently being upgraded. And uh, once these are done, we will be able to talk about that. But let's go ahead and look at our pilots. Our pilots are really coming into their own. We're getting more and more people who have a maxed out skill. Uh, Flowey was a new recruit and he's almost maxed out in tactics. I finally maxed out my own character. Once again, I'm getting the upgrades because I don't have to pay myself. And you could see, feel free to pause, but you could see these are what you get for being maxed out in a particular category. Uh, well, I'm extremely hard to kill now. I got a ton of injuries. But um, one of the advantages of piloting is right here, plus three hit defense. That means your three shots made against you are basically three stages more difficult, so I believe that translates to like 15% harder to hit, so that makes a difference. Um, Standing by. Once again, another character maxed out. Lore is almost there, he just needs that last level in tactics. Commander. Mac is falling by a little bit, mainly due to that injury, but now he's, you know, more lollipops for the guy, you know, um... Don't know if we have any light... Uh, oh, I, I corrected his name, apparently, uh... His other name is just a nickname. Uh, Greek guy, apparently. I don't know if we have Greek, you know, lollipops, but, you know, you're getting the cheap one. You know, whatever the cheap knockoff brand is, that's that's what you get down in my super ghetto medical place. Anyways, let's go ahead and hit our contract up. Mission priority served cold. Oh, looks like the mission is actually right here on Smithen. So we don't need to travel. That means I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and pass time. And let all of our repairs complete. I'm not going to let the injuries heal, though, because for the story missions, we are going to send in our top mech warriors. Got a new financial report. 608,000 sea bills is our monthly fees. Well, I guess we'll heal up. It's, it's one day. What's, what's the harm in it? There you go. So everyone is healed up, and we're going to go ahead and get this mission rolling. Okay, so... Travel to Smithen's Moon to destroy an armed smuggler's dropship for Lord Corrosus. Lord Corrosus really talked up how dangerous this ship's security detail is. I'd suggest approaching this job with an abundance of caution, Commander. Anvelt, in orbit, first moon of Smithen. So the name of the moon is Anvelt. Hi, Lady Kamea Rano says, as you heard, House Corrosus has suffered greatly at the hands of the Directorate. We can't change that, but we can show Lord Corrosus and his, or Corrosus, Car Car Lord K that we're his allies, and that our word can be trusted. We need his help with our data archive, yes, but that isn't why I agreed to this mission. If we are to prevail against the Directorate, I must unite the Founding Houses under the Restoration's banner. Without their support, we'll have no way of replacing our losses. Understood, Lady Arano. Let's get to the specifics of this job he's given us. I seem to remember something about a dropship. She's called the New Grange. He's a transport vessel, ostensibly civilian, named for an old line of yard ships. Let's see, a uh, context clue here. Yard ships, Lost Tech, a class of jump capable spacecraft that were built with integrated docks and shipyard facilities. In the height of the Star League, yard ships served as mobile shipyards, allowing for ship construction and repair in locations that lack traditional docking facilities. It is unknown whether any yard ships have survived into the modern era. 
but many spacers consider them to be functionally extinct. The new Grange has been certified for commercial flight in the Directorate, the Capellan Confederation, and the Tarian Concordat. In all other ways, she's completely unremarkable. At least that's what her official paperwork says. Um, let's go with this. What if the official paperwork is right? That's unlikely. Lord Carosis says the New Grange is carrying new, more armor than any Union-class dropship has any right to, far more than any commercial vessel I've ever heard of. The official paperwork doesn't mention any aftermarket modifications. Okay, but what if this ship's actually doing... So, so what is... But what's this ship actually doing that's got Carosis so pissed off? The last I checked, bolting armor onto a civilian on the ship... On, Bolting armor onto a hull isn't a crime. He claims that the New Grange is running weapons into the Oregon Reach to supply the Directorate's war effort. Her crew has been using an old commercial port in Anvil to fuel up between trips. Ships like this one could help to explain the Directorate's unexpected strength in arms. It's in our interest to destroy it. According to the Indel we've been given, the New Grange is carrying more armor than any Union-class dropship has any right to. Attacking her directly will be a waste of time. Thankfully, Lord Madeira has found us an alternative approach. The Anvelt fueling station was designed for civilian use. It isn't a hardened target, and its components can't withstand a direct attack. If we go in while the New Grange is refueling and blow the station's primary fuel reserve, her armor won't count for much, and the resulting explosion will smash her like an egg. Uh, let's see. You're sure that Lord Corosus is telling the truth? It'd be a disaster if we took out a civilian dropship. Yeah, I'm skeptical about this. From my own study of the New Grange and the situation on Anvil, I am convinced that Lord Corosus is telling us the truth. There's something deeply suspicious about this ship. She isn't the commercial transport she pretends to be. Let's see. Let's see if Lady Arano uh, pulls her clientele authority with us here. Vague assurances aren't enough. Lady Arano, I need to know that there aren't any innocent people on that ship. I'm no more eager for unnecessary bloodshed than you are, Fox. I hope that you know me well enough to recognize that. If we can raise the new Grange on the comms, I will offer her captain a chance to surrender. I'd rather take prisoners than fill graves. The Reach has already seen too much death already. Oh, interesting. She didn't just say, I'm the one in charge. You do what I say. Okay, so it sounds like a workable plan. Let's move forward. Hang on a second, boss. If this job were as easy as blowing up a fuel tank, Corrosis would have done it himself. So what's the catch? I mean, why send us after such an easy target? Lord Corrosis has sent the last remnant of his personal guard after the New Grange two weeks ago, a lance of hardened mech warriors. They were summarily destroyed, a complete loss. There were no survivors. Oh, we could use our background here with merchant guards. Smugglers don't run with that kind of security. Hell, corporate commercial ships don't. I should know. I spent years guarding them. It's bizarre, I agree, but we only have Lord Carosis' words to go on, and he didn't personally witness what happened. We should approach this drop with a, an abundance of caution. Bring the strongest lance you can field and keep your eyes open while you're on the moon's surface. And I'd recommend building, bringing heat efficient land, bring, bringing a heat efficient lance if possible. Anvelt's atmosphere and climate will quickly overwhelm your heat sinks if you're not careful. Uh, okay. Uh, let's put some uh, time for a little bit of confidence. Don't worry about me, Lady Arano. I've got the situation under control. Very good, I'll be on the comms. Good hunting, Fox. Ah, oh, she wasn't impressed. So let's see here. Pull all the mechs out and all the mech warriors out. Alright, so we're going to be bringing both of the Jaeger mechs. The Jaeger mech S is this version of the mech. We're not able to see the modifications. I could see it. But anyways, it's armed with two AC5s and two AC2s. I told you I'm not a big fan of the AC2, but I couldn't fi fit anything else. This is actually very similar to its stock config. The main difference is that it has two medium lasers, but this mech is supposed to shoot at a very long range, well out of the range of the medium lasers, so I'm just going to drop them 
and increase the armor, which bumped it up to 640, which is pretty low for a 65 ton mech, but the original armor was like 420. So like insanely light for a 65 ton mech. So I thought that was necessary. Heat efficiency though is amazing. It's got 10 heat efficiency. It actually generates less heat than the mech's natural built-in heat sinking capability with no heat sinks added on. We're gonna go with the Jaeger Mech A type, which is the cannon and missile hybrid. Also very heat efficient, it's got a, a rating of seven. And we're instead gonna bring, um, we're gonna bring the Victor and Okay, we have two formations we can bring. We can bring in the Cataphract and go for a, a pretty strong front line. The Cataphract has a, a five in heat efficiency, which I don't think is going to be super great. So I'm not going to go with that idea. The other idea would be to bring in one of our other really big mechs. I think I want a more heavily armored mech to go into the front line with me. So I believe I'm going to go with the Awesome... The Awesome has a heat rating of 7, and the Stalker has a heat rating of 8. But the Stalker wants to stay a little farther back, and the Awesome has more armor. Our Stalker has 1,080 armor, while the Awesome has 1,200 12, armor and 1,240 armor. So we're going to go with the Awesome. Even though the Awesome isn't spe especially suited for combat on a Martian surface. What we're going to try to do is brute force with the heat sinks. We have so many of them. And I mean, honestly, the Stalker would have a similar problem just because so many missiles does get pretty hot. Anyways, I'm going in. And in this case, interesting, we're going to be bringing all of our experts in gunnery because all of these are direct fire weapons. So it's going to, and there's no speed here. So we're just going to be bringing all of our gunnery experts. Even Mac 10 even though he's not a Max. Well, because this is going to be more of a, a battle mech to help me tank some shots, I'm actually going to bring Lobo, because if you remember, a 10 in piloting means he's 15% harder to hit, which is going to help the, uh, the awesome out quite a bit. All right, so this is going to be our team. Our firepower in the back, very heat efficient, and our front line, very heavily armored. So overall, in fact, maybe... We'll swap it like this. Whoops. The Victor is a faster battle mech, so perhaps that's perfect for Lobo. And I have the maxed out gunnery, which could be very good for the awesome, so maybe that's how we'll do it. Let's try it out. Let's go. So in this one, we, uh, we do have a time limit. We have to destroy the fueling depot before the new Grange takes off. But I believe they give us enough time. So what I'm probably going to do is like kind of a grinding assault. And if we get to like maybe the last four turns and we have we're not close enough, then we'll go in and snipe the. Uh, the fuel. So here's our objectives. Engage and destroy the Negrange. Destroy the ship's security team. The new Grange must not escape. So yeah, there is a time limit. Lord Corosus challenged my authority, and he was right to do so. His daughter died in my name. We're going to do what we can to earn his help and support. That means destroying the new Grange, a smuggling ship that has been running weapons for the Directorate. I'll be your voice on the comms on this drop, Fox. Let's get this done. Keep your eyes open for the new Grange's security detail. Be ready for a fight when it arrives. I'll be rooting for you here. Yeah, yeah you get the easy job. You get to watch. Command interface initiated. There's a lot of activity on the ground, Commander. It looks like the new Grange is being pre pre oh, they need they have a little spelling error or a they need to put a space there. Is being prepped for launch. You're going to have a tight timetable to get in there and blow the fuel reserve before it lifts off. I'm seeing turret emplacements and light battle mech activity, but it appears the security detail we are warned about is off site for now. So Mirai will be monitoring her sensors for any signs of incoming dropships. She's got that right, Commander. If I see anything, you'll be the first to know. And I'd advise you to be wary of this secondary landing pad up here on the ridge. If I were dropping a defensive lance, that's where I'd do it. 
Good hunting, Commander. I'll be running ops for you from here. So this is not a pure lunar landscape. This is the Martian landscape, which isn't quite as hot as the standard lunar landscape. This area looks pretty good over here. Ah, we have a turret generator. So yeah, we're going to go in this direction. And uh, so the vote said they wanted things to go in fast motion. So Moving that's out. what we'll do. We'll go in fast motion. Move order received. So we detected the turrets, a light turret and a medium turret. Standing by. Let's reserve down because no one has a no one has a visual on me yet. Um, I don't want to block. Like my mech might be blocking if I'm there. Orders. What I think I'll do is send Lobo in first. So, on the Martian surface, you see this cloudy stuff. These are actually whirlwinds, and whirlwinds function like trees, which is very nice because this battlefield has no trees. So, good thing we have these. All right, full speed. Okay, sprint to cover. The trees give us the same benefits. Uh, the whirlwinds are the same as trees, as I said, so we get the full cover. Now I'm going to blow up these shredder turrets. Right here, as you can see, generates quite a bit of heat, but what I can do is fire two PPCs as well. I don't have to fire all three. All weapons committed. But in this case, we'll fire all three. Target destroyed. And what I can do is alternate. I can fire three, fire two, fire three, fire two. That's known as a volley shot. On the I forgot that I could destroy this turret generator. Let's go ahead and remove Firing. it. Flatten that one. So both of our Jaeger mechs are unique for carrying no energy weapons, meaning when they're out of ammo, they are just out of ammo. Acknowledged. Waiting for orders. Not sure what's yes, going commander. on over there. The security doesn't seem particularly good. Yeah. Pop over here. Engaging jump okay, here's the enemy lance. Oh, wondering where they are. Where are you guys hiding? We got ten turns. I want to destroy the security detail so that in the event there are reinforcements, uh, I don't have to fight them and the reinforcements at the same time. I, you know what? I forgot. Did I turn my sound all the way up? There we go. Turn my sound up. I think I like this area here. This looks like a pretty good sniping area. I well, let's get my Jaeger mechs over there. I mean, I think it is. It might not. It might actually have poor lines of sight. Panther, not a big threat. A few pesky missiles. Nothing to write home about. What's up, boss? Ah, so there's our panther. There's our first open target. Interesting that I can only get a shot right there. Let's do this. I have an indirect fire over there. Good to go. Let's reserve down. Delay. Okay. Let's see what happens. All right, let's see what we got. This is not... Uh, yeah, it's because he's moved so much. And he's a light mech. But we'll see what we can get. See if we get any love on this shot. All committed. Two out of three. That's pretty good. Yep. Ready for orders. Waiting for orders. Wish I could get a cleaner shot on this guy. Wait, right here. Oh, man. Even though it's obstructed, uh, the high aim just completely tanking through it. Here we go. Firing. Full call. Good hit there. That hit something good. Jaeger mechs are living up to their name, hunting the enemy down. 
another beautiful shot way. coming in. Well, hopefully. We got 95% accuracy. This ought to finish it off. Roger. Yep, that's the end of them. As you can see, we're shooting at a very far range with this Jaeger mech. The medium lasers would not really be coming into play. What can we do over here? So, there is some cover over here. I am tempted to seize it. How far can I jump? So if I move here, and then I guard, I might be able to jump into the cover and just start duking it out with these mechs over here. Roger. Maybe get a shot at the turret generator, though we haven't detected any more turrets. That's annoying. Why didn't it give me a chance? Did, did I accidentally sprint? I was supposed to be able to guard. I may have accidentally sprinted. Oh man, he missed with his important weapon. That's fortunate. A small tactical error here. That, that was their act, that was their opportunity to get some better hits on us. Go ahead and reserve down. Ah, they do have a turret. Light damage. Holding. From yes, Commander. So I do want to get in here, and I I looks like I can jump down into the fray. And I think I will, because I could jump back up if I want to as well. We'll tank up. And... Who do I want to shoot? We're not going to fire all of our weapons, that's for sure. We have a 50-50... It's a coin toss on the AC. Let's go for it. Locked on. Nope, we missed with the AC, but that's okay. Okay, so it looks like going this way is kind of the long way. So, like, my awesome is slightly out of position. I'm gonna have to, like, run my giant awesome butt over there. Let me see if I can get some shots in on here. Okay, let's take some shots on the Shadowhawk. How's it going? Looks like nowhere we can go will allow us to get a clean shot on anybody, so we'll just take an indirect shot here. We are, it is realistic for this mech to run out of missiles. Not as much to run out of the AC-5, unless it's just a super long battle, but it, it could still happen. I'm glad he didn't punch me, that could have been a problem, but he, he just... just did not what he wanted to do. Here comes the Shadowhawk. Look at all these misses. Remember, it's because of the pilot and the gyro. I believe the Victor has a gyro that's improving its... Let's see. Yeah, a, pl a gyro that's making it plus two harder to hit. So this mech is pretty hard to hit, which is exactly what I want. And I think I will just punch punch this guy, because why not? Well, let, let's see what my AC accuracy is going to look like. 75, that's pretty good. On my way. We will tank up. Now we're going to be taking 60% damage unless they choose to... I, I, I'm always going to shoot wherever the AC has the best shot. 70% is our best shot here. There we go. Just blasted his whole right side off. Inflicted some heavy damage. Oh, got a text message. Got to shut my phone down. Or What's turn the on? ringer off, at least. Okay, now we should be able to get into line of sight. Can I poke out a little bit less than this, preferably? Ready for Let, let's take a shot over here first. Maybe I get out of the way for my... Yeah, okay, over here. The, the, the wall is actually blocking aye, aye. the Wolverine. 
Although I might be in range of that turret now, which would be its own problem. So I can either finish that guy off, or I can start shooting at this guy. How about both? We'll put three shots on this guy. And one shot on that guy. Copy that. Will we get it? Ha ha! <laughs> That's what I like to see. Target neutralized. An efficient turn. Or an efficient Sending round line. of shooting, at least. It looks like I'm obstructed no matter what I do. Can I get two evasion? Yeah, I can get two evasion here. Might come into play, might not. Who knows? Let's go ahead and let this guy have it. Oh, man, this guy... Let's just fire the missiles. I, I'm confident that we can do 16 damage with just the missiles just to save a little ammo. On it. Apparently, I was wrong. Oh, okay. A ammo explosion. We're good. We're good. Okay, so this little bit of terrain elevation here actually gives me the 90s on my shots. So we're going to take the shots. If all three hits, then, well, he's going to have a 15% accuracy penalty. Yep, a 13% accuracy penalty, and also took 150 damage there. Sixty percent damage reduction, you'll have to do better than that. Is that all you got? Receiving you. So here's our turret. We will close the distance, tank it up. And we'll drop one medium laser. Not our best shot, but... We, we, we might win the coin flip. We did win the coin flip, and that takes him out. Tango down. Orders? Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. Is there any mech that can possibly hit... Reserving action. Yes. Engage this stupid turret generator. I don't think there is anyone. So we're just gonna start running our butts in there. Good to go. Receiving you. Or do we want to do that? This area has a lot of cover. I, do, I think I do like this area actually. On the move. Uh, Jagerbeck often has jump jets, so that's one thing I'm used to. But about to take off. You have to stop it. Yeah, yeah, the dropship and things. Standing by. Um. Oh yeah, we got cover right here. I have an indirect shot on the turret generator. Why is that? Ready for orders. Okay, the mechs are blocking each other right now. Okay, now I have a clear shot on the turret generator. Ah, fine, we'll just shoot at everything. Okay. down, Commander. That should take their turrets offline. Commander? Okay, now we have time to kind of move around and prepare for the reinforcements. Like so. On it. I think we're gonna have our Jaeger mechs both right there. Actually, no. I think they're gonna be back here. Yeah, I like that idea better. This is going to be where... Yeah, like this. I've got a Directorate Leopard moving in on your position, Commander. Judging by the markings, it's a House Espinosa ship. That must be the Defense Force Lord Kuros has warned us about. Be ready. <laughs> we haven't heard uh, Thomas Madeira's voice in a little bit. Roger that. No shooting, just running. Okay, we're getting into position. I'm going to go ahead and blow this thing up. Oh, looks like it's going to take a little more, a few more hits than I was expecting. Newgrange Captain. 
This is the captain of the New Grange. Hold your fire, dammit. We're civilian transport, not a military dropship. I know what you are. Power down your engines and surrender or your ship will be destroyed. I can't do that. Repeat. Hold your fire. There are unarmed people on this vessel. We've got a hold full of passengers, and you'll be murdering them if you destroy that tank. I already know what your ship is carrying, and it isn't civilians. Captain, I'm giving you one last chance to surrender. If you refer, refuse, what happens next will be on your head, not mine. Listen to reason and power down now. They've cut the comm feed, Lady Arano. I'm picking up increased activity on my sensors. They're making a run for it. And they left us no choice. We're blowing up the fuel reservoir. Let's do what we came here for, Commander. Take that dropship out. Okay. Time to blow it up. I'm on it. Shazubity Shazam, the new Grange is damned. That's done it. The new Grange is down. That should satisfy our obligation to Lord Corrosus. Heads up, Commander. Enemy dropship, and it's coming in hot. Incoming transmission. Victoria Espinosa says, "You, who? Do you have any idea what you've done? You'll pay for your. You'll pay for that with your life, you mercenary filth." Victoria, if I'd known you'd be here, I'd have taken the field myself. A pity you did it. We could have ended this war here and now. I suppose I'll have to content myself with your prized mercenaries. Watch as I tear them to shreds. Well, looks like here is our rematch. Last time our mech overheated because it was sabotaged. Probably a good thing. We did not have the uh, the gear to deal with that many battle mechs. And we need to get into position. Position confirmed. And by that I mean getting the cover. Ready for orders. Okay, we're just going to get here and kind of tank things up a notch. Let's get into sniping position. Like so. We're in cover. We're ready for their advance. I'm just going to click done. Are they coming forward or not? Do they want us to come towards them? I'll skip another turn. They might have the same plan as us. Okay, if that's the case, what we're going to do is... Actually, it's 32 minutes. What we're going to do is continue this in the next episode. I hope you, uh, you follow. Oh, no, no, that's the real battle. No! At any rate, that's the end of this episode. We will tango with the enemy lance next episode. Like this video, this entertaining. Subscribe for future Battletech content. Of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.